going on YouTube wanted to do a quick video on um, the GPS telemetry sensor I'm using with uh, my spectrum uh, AR 14410 T 14 channel receiver I'm using the um, GPS speed and altitude and distance and I have it set up on switches and I've had a couple people ask me how I did it and it's pretty simple um, like I said I'm using this um, GPS telemetry sensor it's the SPMA 95871 connected uh, through uh, X, bu X bus port and um, yeah let's take a look here Pretty simple setup. Go to model setup and go to audio events. Uh, go to custom reports, and then here I have the three switches one for the speed, altitude, and distance, all from the GPS receiver. Seems to be fairly accurate, and I use it a lot. Uh, I use mostly the speed just to give me an idea of what, uh, what I'm looking at. I don't suggest you trust. The speed I use it for landing a lot to try to get consistent landings, and I've been pretty good. I've uh, been pretty consistent with the landings using this GPS speed on my MB339. And uh, yeah, the other day I was flying, and then uh, on my last video, you can you can hear it in the background. And like I said, it's pretty accurate. It, it's there to be a tool. Uh, definitely shouldn't use it as crutches, and shouldn't rely on specific speed with the, with this gps sensor uh, use it as a tool learn the airplane but uh, don't rely on it 100 percent because if you do you may get uh, erroneous uh, feedback from the sensor and uh, perhaps get too slow trusting blindly the uh, speed that's calling out so use it as a tool not a crutch but anyways uh, you come up here you go to add um, and you just go to the switch you want. Flip the switch. I'm using the IX20, uh, which makes it easy. Um, and then you put it on here. You could do frequency. Let's do five seconds. And then voice. You can choose different, whatever you want. I keep it on voice. I just wanted to call out my speeds to, for reference. So you can go to this uh, pencil... Uh, mark in here go to macros it's pretty simple go to gps and then you can go you can choose different things here gps altitude distance is what i'm using and then speed you just hit speed and then you cancel out it puts it up here you click the blue check mark here and uh now um i set it on f you could just no data and then it'll, every five seconds It'll read out. No data. You can change it as if you want as well and do custom. Um, so you want it to do it every two seconds. You can do two seconds. No data. No data. No data. Obviously, the GPS is not on, so it doesn't have any data to give you. But that's how you would do it. Like I said, I'd have one for speed, altitude, and distance, and I'd turn them on. I, you could use whatever switch you want. I use a couple of different switches that I wasn't using for anything else, and um, yeah, this is like my speed. And I have it for three seconds. Like I said on my last video that I posted, you can hear it um, at some point calling out the speeds. And um, yeah, it's a pretty simple setup. Um, it, it's pretty straightforward, not that difficult to set up. You can go, obviously, make sure your telemetry, it does read the GPS, and it should automatically, uh, once you plug in the GPS and start the system, it should give you, uh, it should set up the, the telemetry page with all the sensors that it has available. Uh, if not, you can manually go in and select what you want it uh to display on and then whatever setup you want that's that's on you but at least the 
uh, setting it on, on the switch. That's that's what we just went over. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. I hope you uh, can use this and set up your uh, speed. Again, this is for Spectrum system. And uh, I'm using IX20 and the AR4141 uh, uh, T uh, receiver. So thanks again for watching. If you want any other videos like this, uh, let me know. But uh, like I said, a couple people asked about it. I said, okay, I'll make a video. Anyways, thanks again.